Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of HRST, today we are starting the actual HRST. I have already provided the overview so you can see this video here. But now we are discussing it in the ServiceNow system here. Okay, so basically it is a paid plugin. Uh, for demo instance, it is free. So thank you ServiceNow. To download the HR application, you can go to this app, Human Resource Scope Dapp Core. Okay, so you can find it here. You can go to this system application, then all available applications, then all. Okay, there you can find this application. And once this application is installed or active, you can see all these plugins get automatically installed. Okay, there are around seven to eight plugins. So as soon as the plugins are installed, you see all these components will get installed on that particular instance. So we have various roles, various scheduled jobs and various tables. So this is the out of box setup which get installed. Okay. You see as soon as I install that application, you see here HR case management, HR profile, HR integration, HR administration, HR dashboard and then performance analytics. Okay. These four to five applications along with some internal things get installed here. So in order to understand this application completely, the very first thing which you should know is the COE that is HR center of excellence. So let me show you that Write down COE click on this COE configuration. These all are the COE. So this is nothing but a functional representation of all the basic verticals which are there for HR services. Okay, so they have bifurcated the whole HR concept into these eight or nine tables. So each COE is nothing but a table in service now. That is for benefit case, corporate communication, payroll, talent management. So, so you can say benefit, compensation, corporates, these all are the functional verticals. Okay, because we have to bifurcate the HR process so that it will be managed effectively. So this is what the bifurcation is. Later in the video, we will see that these bifurcations will get further bifurcated or you can say further categorized. Okay, so just be with me. So now let me show you this in the docs. So just read this each HR center of excellence is an extension of HR case table. So whatever we are seeing here, these, these all are the extension of one major table and its name is HR case. So that HR case table is the parent table of all these tables. Okay. So based on the functional bifurcation, they have designed the technical solution as well. So you see it is more clear here HR case table. This is the main table and all these seven tables are the child table of that one. So functional bifurcation and technical bifurcation all in one concept. And as we scroll to the next page, you will see the further bifurcation which I was talking about is after sector of excellence. We have this topic category, then we have topic details and then we have further HR services like a uh, center of excellence, you know, is a payroll, right? And in that payroll COE, we have topic category as payroll administration. There are n number of topic categories for a particular COE. Okay. And then this topic category is further refined into topic detail, which is direct deposit. Like that, we have n number of topic details here as well. Okay. This is one of it that is direct deposit and then under topic detail we have HR services. So here they have specified three, but we can have more than three as well. Depends on your organization, depends on your company. So you have to understand this particular COE data model very carefully because based on this, the whole uh, building or whole infrastructure of this HR application is based on. So now let's get back to the COE. So you see here, there are total nine COEs which are available and you can manage these COEs directly from here. Okay. If you want to deactivate one of it, you just have to come here. Obviously you have to change your application and then you can just turn it off. Once you turn it off, the all corresponding things below it will get disappear or will be not accessible to the users or to the HRs. As mentioned here, turning off one will disable HR services, topic detail, categories and record producers. Okay. So now let's go to the case table, which is the main fundamental table here. You see in HR case management, you have all the cases. Click on it. All the HR cases are available and the table name is service now HR core case. Okay. 
so if you just uh, configure this table you can see all the coes are the child of this table whereas this table this is hr code case table is extending the task table that's why uh, in this particular hr case you are able to see the workflows as well so you must know all these basic technical details so that you can take uh, necessary actions and design solutions accordingly so now let's create a new case here click on create new case at the very beginning you have these four fields first of all you have to provide a particular coe only the active ones which are managed from coe configuration are seen here okay and then you have to select the hr service all the services with respect to payroll will come here let's say i want this payroll discrepancies then we have to select open for so let's say this is open for abraham and the subject person is adela so the open for or subject person this can be two different person or this can be a one so let's say a third party is opening a case so in that case it will select open for as the hr to whom uh, this particular case will be assigned and the subject person is the one who is the beneficiary that is the employee okay so adela is an employee in that case and abraham is a hr okay but in case an hr directly creating all this in that case open for and a subject person can be the same i hope you got it let's click on create case so you see the case is created now and it is looking like uh, uh, one of the task table right you have seen incident problem so the form is just look the same because we are using most of the fields short description description from there only so i have assigned this one to tammy and you see at the bottom uh, the option of seeing the workflow because this table is inheriting task table that's why creating a workflow and associating a workflow is possible it is same as we do in the catalog items okay you just go there select the table as case and then you can create your workflow so now let's click on this hr service so that i will show you the hierarchy which i have explained so this hr service is under this topic detail and this topic category okay and you can see the coe as well so now let's open one of the topic category okay so that you'll see more so under hr administration you have topic categories one coe can have a number of categories so you see here one coe can have a number of categories here okay so now let me open one of the category and next is topic detail so one category can have n number of topic details here they have one but uh, there can be many and if we click on the topic details one topic detail can have n number of hr services okay so this is how this particular hierarchy will work if you want to create a new service you have to provide the topic category and the topic detail and the value of coe as well so this is it in this video you have to understand the coe data model properly so just go through it uh, traverse or do some r d here and then i will come up with the next video where we will go more in depth okay thank you so much bye bye